Hello, how are you? Long time no see. Uh, this is Miss Lambert. Y'all know who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a different hairdo today. I uh, figure I'll, you know, slack off the ponytail for a while. Um, but even though, you know, I haven't been on it in a minute, but I got some stuff that I got to look at. Uh, but I came across something that I need to share with y'all. When you get to the integumentary system, oh, wait a minute, don't forget, uh, respect to everybody, um, bless everybody's family, um, do what you want to do. Um, make sure that during this time, I don't know who's getting unemployment, I don't care who's getting unemployment, but if you are, before you go back to your job, will you make a little less, go to school, do something. I don't care if it's a six-week course. When that money is finished, you don't know if you're going to go back to that job, even if it's a low paying job or not. You've got to go to school. You've got to do something while you're getting that unemployment because you want to see that kind of money keeping on rolling on in. OK, do something. I don't care if it's a crash course in customer service for the IRS. <laughs> Whatever. You know, you don't want to go back to making 10, 12 dollars an hour if you don't. You know, and if it's not more than the unemployment that you're making now, you got to go to school. You know, y'all know how I am. I'm like belligerent on this educational stuff. So listen, um, I haven't been on it in a minute because I'm working on the books. I have tabbed two of the books and I'm still working on, on one of the classes. I was in the integumentary system today. Now, for some reason, I don't know, uh, AAPC through a fickle and a nickel, um, the uh, finger modifiers, um, that's something new that they just put on that test. And also, if you guys are ready to take your test, you do not have to uh, look for a uh, traditional sitting on test. They got it where you can take it online. This is the glitch. If you take it online, it's $100 cheaper. But you can only take it one time. Okay? If you cancel, it's $35. Uh, and then you can reschedule. I, just keep it at traditional. When this is just slowed down a little bit, most of the hospitals are the ones that give it, not the hospitals, the proctors do the exams in the hospitals. Or like in North Carolina, sometimes they do it in Greensboro, like, like little centers or something like that. But they usually give it at a uh, Novin Hospital down south or Duke University. And Connecticut, it's Waterbury Hospital. Sometimes they give it at St. Mary's. Wherever you're at, they're going to give that test at a facility. But um, the thing is, uh, if you have your books, if you have your 2020 books, if you guys are labeling them, remember last time I told y'all about the labels, uh, go to Amazon and get the 500 for $10. You don't know how many you're going to need. So um, in the integumentary system, uh, there's some different things in there that they have changed or they have added. And one of them were the modifiers for the fingers. If you have your Hicks Picks book, those modifiers are in there. When we go over this in the classroom, if you do not have it, go online and type in, uh, you know, hand modifiers, finger CPT modifiers, okay? Because that's something that's that's new that they put in there. Um, they may say, well, what's FA, what's TA or T, whatever. You, you could just, you know, they multiple choice. But I'd rather you just go through your Hicks Pick book and check it out. All right, I have not tabbed up the Hicks Pick book, but I just opened it so I could find that thing for you guys. I don't know what this is. Okay, hold on. Here, look. That's the Hicks Picks book. This is the book that you need on your CPC. Uh, you got to add a new book. Uh, if my students, if you guys don't have this new book and you guys are using the old books for the class, no worries. All of y'all can use these same books. Okay, they're 2020. You can use these books right here. These books. They cost too much money to be. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Um, but, you know, y'all get unemployment, put that money to good use, get your books, because I don't see no money on Facebook. Dang. Anyway, um, I'm going to let y'all use these books. Don't worry about it. This one is not tab. But if you guys notice, some of y'all who are doing billing and coding already, look how thick the book is. It's like a double. This book used to be like this. Anyway, you know, I want to see y'all... You know, ex it, it, you know, express that um, need to grow in education because that's what it's going to be all about. You know, if they cut it, if they don't give the education, give the um, education free. Well, they do. Unemployment, I think, now has something going on to send you to school. But uh, if they don't extend it, I don't want you all to get stuck. You know, some of you all at home, you're getting the unemployment or the, the stimulus and stuff like that. I, I hope they give us another one. But um, go to school, do something. Now, look, in the integumentary system... It's a long section. Integumentary system and muscle skeleton system is a long section. 
Go over it a hundred times. I don't care how many times you go over it. You see this book? This is the book. I see the postman again. What is he doing here again? Anyway, this is a 2020 CPT book. You see this? This is how you would tab your book. This is how you tab your book. You see, Miss Lambert? You know I get carried away. Okay? Vanessa, you know I get carried away. All right? Y'all don't have to get carried away like me. I put this in here because I don't know what y'all are going to need to do it, use it for. And when I'm flipping through this book when I'm doing my classroom, I can get to what I need to get to really, really quick. Okay? You've got something in here and you get stuck on um, maternity, labor and delivery. Labor and delivery. Pop right there. You go right there in a second. Okay? Um, don't forget uh, the illustrations are in this book. They're in the front of the book. I had started doing it, but what I had changed to do is like to do medicine and all green, radiology and all red, because it's quicker to get to. Um, but you know, you can tab it how you want to. It's going to take you a minute, minute to tab it. There are hand illustrations in ICD-10. Um, there's a hand illustration in, um, I think it's in the Hicks picks. There's a hand illustration in there. And then there's like a little small something in this book here, uh, in the CPT book. But it doesn't matter. I went, When you go through these books, you see this? This is just one page. One. Ms. Lambert told me to go to each one of these pages. I don't care if you don't read it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. When you get to the guidelines in the ICD-10, this is what I want you to do. The guidelines in the ICD-10 is monstrous. I like that word, monstrositous. I can't even say it. But look, y'all know I'm not your regular straight eyeball teacher. Y'all know I don't get down like that. But look, you see this book? Yeah, you know I got carried away with this one too. I don't want nobody getting stuck. But when you tab your book, whatever you get stuck with and you feel like you need to have it tab, tab it so you can get back to it. Tab it so you can get back to it. One of the things in the integumentary system, okay, you got to have index cards. Make sure you have your index cards because you're not going to remember it. I don't, you're not going to retain it like, oh, you're going to remember everything. But just try your best to try to remember everything that, you know, you think is going to be important on the test. One, you remember those notes I was telling you about, all those pages with those notes? You see? I put that in here. You can't see it, but you see where it says notes? Look at that. I put it in there. All right. I put it in there. I put the notes tabs in there. So when you go find that note, you know where it is. But don't use all of them because, you know, like how I got a tab, you can get overwhelmed like that. I'm just, you know, I'm not using it for anything like that. I'm using it for something else. So, you know, in the house and showing you guys. But when you guys could do your tabs, you don't have to overwhelm yourself with the tabs. Okay? Um, also, when you start studying, um, just keep in mind that this may be on the test. That may be on the test. Whatever you see in the classroom that I have up there, it could be on the test. If you see, just like my book, um, don't forget my medical billing book. You guys get that book. I got to reach it over there. Um, I got to mail that one out. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting the emails. Uh, I mailed out a couple of books last week. Um, so just give me a minute. I just haven't been to the post office yet. So some of you guys who, who ordered the books, um, you can order the books from my website and Amazon. You don't have to order from Amazon if you want to. I got it on my website as a discount. If you order from my website, then I have to mail it out. So um, that's why, you know, I have them here to, to mail them out. So anyway, um, on your CPC test, you will have a lot of things there that you see in your CPT book. The text is derived from your CPT book, your Hicks Picks book, and your ICD-10 book. Do I want you to get to step-by-step, -step, book by book? Yes, I still want you to get to step-by-step, -step, book by book because that's what I'm teaching with. I don't have to teach you. If you home, you can teach yourself. Look at this step-by-step -step book. That book teaches you how to code step-by-step. -step. Those of you who are in my class, that is a beginner. That's what I'm teaching you from. The book, step by step. The medical billing comes from the insurance handbook. Those books are a lot expensive. That's why I don't want y'all to buy those books. Uh, you can get them for 5 and $10 off of thrift. They aren't going to be updated, but they give you some insight on, you know, what the coding is about, what the billing is about. Okay? So, um, that's what I wanted to jump on and tell you guys. 
and um, something else I had to get. Oh, if you you guys are taking your tests soon, they all letting the, letting the um, calculators come in, and they all letting the clock timers come in. Uh, you clock time it on your watch, or you know you can bring it with you, sit on your desk. Make sure you have more than two pencils. Make sure you have more than two pencils, and make sure they're sharpened. And don't go in there on the red days. Don't go in there on the red days. I already told y'all that. You go in there on the red days, you're gonna be hemorrhaging like crazy. Excuse my impression, Lord, forgive me. I don't know who that is. So, uh, you know, don't go in there on those days. Keep your mind clear. Take that test and be done. This crisis is real. This is not a dream. Uh, you remember what I told y'all? In 2016, when the ICD-10 hit, ICD-9 was out the door. A lot of people retired. A lot of people retired. I have a girlfriend in North Carolina. She's strictly a HEMA. Trust me, she knows I do uh, AAPC, she does a HEMA, and uh, I had her at my school one time, and you know, she was like, it's real, and it is, you know, this situation right here reminds me of that, because when, when we transferred from ICD-9 to ICD-10, some of the elder people, the senior people, they didn't want to do, they all retired, so they, that made room for my team, but now it's pretty much similar, same thing, a lot of people has retired, even though there are a lot of people that's on unemployment. A lot of people has retired, okay? I'm talking about the coders and the billers and the uh, practice managers and the uh, health information people, okay? That's the door for you. You got to go to school. You got to do something. Sometimes they don't care how many degrees you got. That don't mean nothing. You got to have a certification. You got to have a certification. The test is five hours and 40 minutes. Y'all got two minutes and 15 seconds on each question. I put enough stuff in this classroom to lesser the amount of time that you're going to use. That's the purpose of the tabs, to lesser the time. When you take your test, I suggest to all my students just take it from the back. Do the short answers first, which however they got them this year, do the short answers first so you can boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Because they have some stuff on there that's going to trip you up. Like there's something in there for like testicles and what is it? Vesicles and something else that sounds like it's for a woman, but it's really for a man. And some of those words in there, there will be stuff in there on how you spell something. Um, that's why I told you don't get mixed up with carotene and keratosis. So some of that stuff is confusing. But just be precarious of that. Watch the uh, the main thing that I want y'all to watch, the integumentary and the muscle skeletal system. I'm not on the muscle skeletal system yet, so I'm just closing out of integrity and um integrity integumentary. Um, so the medicine, the E and M, all that's done. The front end, all that, all that's done. The body systems is what I'm working on right now. So as I'm doing the body system and I see something that I need to bright eye on and give y'all a heads up on, make sure you pay attention to that. Do not forget, you must code this book with these tabs. All right. Yeah, mine's is a little crazy, a little carried away. I didn't tab every single page, but I don't like to get stuck for nothing. I probably know both of these books at the back of my hand. Who the heck knows? But it takes years, years to do this stuff. And like I told somebody earlier, whatever it is you decide to do, this is for my graduates on high school level, whatever you decide to do, do what you like to do. Don't do something you don't want to do because if you do something you don't want to do next year, you're going to change your job. Get a job. Keep it. Don't leave it. Do what you like to do. Okay. Uh, this is for my coders out there. If you guys are having trouble, if you're getting stuck, shoot me an email or something like that. Uh, because again, the cycles are going to turn over with the retirees. You talking a lot of a lot of people who work for doctors' offices, they've been there 30 and 40 years, and those doctors got them doing the billing, the books, the medical records, the filing, the this, the that, the that, the this. Some doctors only trust them senior women uh, and senior men too. You understand what I'm saying? But they probably retired. So now those doctors gotta hire somebody else that they gotta trust. So uh, just be precarious of that. I'm just telling you what is possibly going to go on. The unemployment is ending on July 25th. Be ready before that. Be ready before that. Because if you're working at the gas station or you're working at Food Lion and you want to jump to something else, listen, 
online school is not like traditional school. I'm not saying that in, in you know, traditional school they're micromanaging you. I went to traditional school too. Online, you got to be independent. You got to be focused. And you got to see what you're going to get at the end of the tunnel. I'm using that. You know, that's the old boy's line, end of the tunnel. But I'm using that. You got to see what you're going to get at the end of the tunnel. Because if you don't have the motivation to complete an online course or to complete any course online because nobody's babysitting you or nobody's micromanaging you, you never do it. If you do not have to be micromanaged at work, if you know what you have to do and your dedication to just do it and to get it done, then you should be the same way when you are on school. Nobody should have to call you and, are you online? Are you on school? Did you do your homework? Did you, did you, did you? No. I don't care how old you are. You got to have dedication to do it. You got to have a willpower. You got to have a willpower. Any online training is not easy. You talk about triple and double the work. The hardest thing uh, is when you do online is staying focused. Is staying focused. If you're sitting here and you're online and you're looking out the window and Tom, T um, Tammy, and Joni is sitting outside playing, you about to go out there and holler at them. And they standing by the car and they just t you got to you got to have that willpower to be like nope. It's just like smoking. If you got around 25 people who smoke or something like that, you got to be doing, no, I don't do that. I don't do that. I got tons of people around me who smoke and drink. I don't, I don't do that. Okay. So you got to just, you know, take it to the level how you want to. Um, so that's all I wanted to pretty much knock in and tell you. This is necessary. Don't tab every page like I did or most pages like I did. Tab what you need. Do the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I, C, D, 10 so you can find the chapters. When you go to um, chapter specific, I put the, put the numbers in the chapter specific on the guideline. The reason why I want you to put the numbers in chapter specific, that's in the I, C, D, 10 book. That's the 2020 guideline. The chapter specific guidelines... That's where you're going to get a detailed description of what the chapters are about. Septus, you know, uh, pregnancy, labor and delivery, diabetes. They're going to give you detail. The good thing about that is you have to read it because when you start coding cases, you got to know how to code them. That's what the guidelines do. That's why I tell a lot of people, coding is so simple. You just, you just have to read and teach yourself. You just need a little guidance. That's pretty much it. Because They didn't give me that when I went to school for coding. When I went to college, it was like, the teachers were so nonchalant about it, like, eh, eh. you know, at the end of the course, then they were like, well, you got to be certified. What? Why is that? Why, why, why are they going to tell us that? At that point, that's when you, st all of us was like dumbfounded. We got, we need to be what? To do, we couldn't even do coding without being certified. So all, all of my girls, all of us in the same class, we just steadfast and formed our own coding group. Some of us passed the first time, some of us didn't. We just took it on and did it again. Develop a group, whatever you got to do. But, you know, don't get laid back and used to, you know, you, you, you just chilling. When this is over, you got to have that paper. You got to have that. Forget about the degree. You got to have that paper. Okay, I'm not saying nobody don't go to school for a degree. But when you do go, you know, you got them student loans going to hit you. And you have to make sure that you make that amount of money when you graduate from college to pay back that loan. You can't get a $150,000 loan and you make $12 an hour. You'll never pay it. You'll never pay it. So I, I'm not going to say you never pay it, but, you know, people do pay it. But, you know, you'll have a minimal amount of money left. All right. So I'm 18 minutes in. I'm going to cut this down. This video is just about a quick tip about integumentary and muscle skeletal system and the modifiers, okay? Fingers, if A, if nine, if 10, uh, these, that's not the right ones. I'm just kind of letting you know what they are. So uh, just be precarious of that. Watch those modifiers. Every single one of these big books, the CPT 2020, the ICD 10 and the Hicks Picks Level 2, you're going to go through every single page. I don't care if you just look at it. When you go through ICD-10, CPT, Higgs, Picks, look for some abbreviations. You don't know. They might be on the test. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck CVAT is. I don't know if I got it right or wrong, but I'm telling you, that CVAT like to drive me crazy. Cardiovascular, tomography. I still can't get it. Y'all find out. Y'all find out what CVAT uh, T is. Let me know. Everybody keep giving me crazy stuff. It's a whole crazy different meaning in AAPC. But um, have fun with CVAT.
I'm going to see y'all next time. Probably next week. I have no idea. But uh, I'm going to try to get through this this week. I have not um, went into the classroom. Tamika, I haven't went into the classroom. I saw your email. I got you. Um, um, what's her name? Uh, I can't think of her name. But I got your book. Uh, I'm going to send your book out today. I'm going to look at my book so I can go ahead and send it out. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So you guys got any questions, make sure you send me an email. Uh, go to www.sapphirecoding.com. Okay. Sapphirecoding.com. Okay. Go to my email, sapphirecoding.com. Same at LBC Fink. I just updated it to sapphirecoding.com. I had one of the, one of the physicians, you know, he didn't like, um, not being direct because he he's got me hats and shirts. I don't know where they are. Such a hats and shirts and stuff that I, I got. I'm a I, I might start giving them out. But I updated to Sapphire Coding because I didn't want to be direct with it. So that Sapphire Coding is actually under Sapphire Financial Training. So uh, when you guys do go on www.sapphirecoding.com, you will see me, you will see the book, you will see ten dollar donations, whatever you uh, feel like you need to do, let me know. You need a one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and book it. And do not forget to subscribe Subscribe to this channel. They keep telling me that. And I'm not even going to lie. I don't even say that. I didn't know. If I, you know, subscribe. You know, I'm not your traditional teacher. Um, there's so many other women that do this that are, I mean, they are to the point. They are word for word. Uh, if you can st stick it out to all of their uh, educational trainings on CPC and also AHIMA, um, you still will learn from them. But uh, again, it takes years to just be nonchalant with this, you know, and be, you know, um, savvy with it. Um, but again, uh, in my classroom, we go into detail on what we need to do. But there are other people who are on YouTube that will go into depth if you need something really quick. It's there. Them ladies got it out there. Respect to all of them. Um, but again, you know, here, this YouTube channel is for a tutoring, teaching tip channel uh, for Miss Lambert. I am the educator. I am the owner of uh, Sapphire Coding. So listen, you guys want to join the class? Let me know. Let me know if you want to join the classroom. Uh, I'm going to work something out because right now, you know, things are a little low. I don't know who that is. His neighbor across the street. But um, again, this is Miss Lambert, Sapphire Coding. Uh, go on the website, send me an email. I'm going to see y'all next time.